Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this boy Sarah from Armada Trading here, and today we'll be looking at CTRM because they have just released their new earnings report. I just checked the press release and they released it on the 30th of March. So they have released the earnings report and we're going to go through those earnings reports. However, today we're going to be doing a full analysis, an updated analysis of CTRM and whether I still think CTRM is a good buy currently. With that being said, if you haven't already, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for you. It really helps the channel out and we're all well, we've we've hit 1,000 subscribers, so thank you all very much. And I don't even know what the next target is. I guess 2,000, but like 1,000 is good enough. You don't you don't have to, right? So thank you all for just giving us all this love, and honestly, it means the world to all of us. With that being said, let's get on with the video. Before we get into today's video, I just want to say that I'm in no way, shape, or form a financial advisor, and please take anything I say with a pinch of salt. I'm simply a university student studying business and management, and that is all. Stocks of battlefields, be sure to do your own research, your own due diligence before entering into the battlefield. I can only scout the battlefield for you, however, I cannot fight the battle for you. With that being said, let's move on. Okay, so you're probably wondering, if you haven't already, what CTRM is as a company, anyone who's new to this channel. So, Castor Maritime Incorporated, through its subsidiaries, engages in ocean transportation of dry bulk cargoes worldwide. It provides seaborne transportation services for dry bulk cargo, including iron ore, coal, grains, steel products, fertilizers, cement, bauxite, sugar, and scrap metals. The company operates three Panamax vessels with a carrying capacity of approximately 76,000 thousand dead weight ton. Castor Maritime Incorporated was founded in 2016 and is based in Limassol, Cyprus. So CTRM is still quite a new company if it's already founded in 2016 and we have seen some very significant growth in the company and that will show in their financial report which we will get onto after we do the shareholder statistics. Okay, so the current shareholding positions within CTRM, we currently own as retail investors 93.93% and that's a shareholding type within the company. So we own a large majority of retail investors and then 4.32% is owned by hedge funders, 0.8% is owned by VC slash PE firms, 0.55% um, is from traditional investment, 0.22% is from individual slash insiders within the company, 0.14% uh, is from bank slash investment banks and 0.03% is from private corporations so that is the shareholder sort of structure behind CTRM and we're now going to move into the meat and potatoes of this video the financial composition with the new earnings report so looking at the financial report of CTRM is exactly how I imagined it. It is looking very, very juicy. And honestly, it's looking like a very, very good year for CTRM. Now, this year, they have been able to have a total revenue so that they've been able to take into the company $12.49 million, which is a 109% increase from the year before in 2019. Now the cost, so the the gross, the, the, the operating expenses. Sorry, so obviously because they have had more sort of they have more ships going with this growth strategy that that obviously increases the expenses which they have so the operating expenses came out to 2.1 million dollars so in total they have made a nice gross profit of 2.55 million and that's through their income statement so that is very very strong now if we go over to the cash flow you can now see on your screen right now that the net cash flow is currently up 168%. Their beginning cash position in 2020 was 5.06 million. Now, the current changes in the cash, so this is the amount of cash which they have managed to bring in, so this is how much they've been able to add on to that, is currently 37% increase from 2019, and they managed to bring in another $4.37 million worth of like sort of cash within the company, and that has given them an end cash position ending in 2020 of $9.43 million. Beautiful stuff, absolutely beautiful stuff, and this is exactly what I, t what I wanted to see. I wanted to see CTRM really increasing their portfolio, increasing their assets, which they have also done. Now, I'm going to put something up on your screen that recently their assets. Let me just quickly get up myself. Okay, so 
the the assets right now within CTRM, their current assets to liability ratio is 29.56%. And you have to remember, at the end of 2020, they really started putting their foot on the gas pedal, right? They really started accelerating their company forward. Now, I know 2020, we have, or 2021, we have seen them increase a heck of a lot. And that's probably because of the end cash position that they ended in 2020. Now, I do apologize, everyone. I don't know why, but that number completely threw me off. And I was like, wait, how do I even say that? And <laughs> I can now tell you that that is 74.37 million, right? So I, uh, like, in my head, I was trying to do the like, beep, 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 like, trying to just get it in my head. But okay, so 74.37 million dollars worth of assets and 21.9 million dollars worth of debt slash um, liability so in total that is good that is very very strong and you know that shows that ctrm right now they're continuing to add to their assets increasing the company's portfolio and in all honesty i think ctrm is going to keep keep increasing these assets we have seen them recently pick up a load more ships i think I, th I think it's like six or seven in the past three months, which is insane. So personally, I think CTRM right now is an amazing buy and that is all my opinion and do your own due diligence. And we're now gonna get into the graphical analysis right now. Another thing that I actually wanted to add before we go into the graphical analysis of CTRM is that the CFF, which is sort of their operating finances, is currently at 42.18, which is actually really good. Now, the CFF is sort of the cash flow from financial activities. Now, um, this is, so I, I will sort of tell this what, what it is just so you get a better understanding. So CFF is a section of a company's cash flow statement, which shows the net cash flows of cash that are used to fund the company. Cash flow from financing activities provides investors with insight into a company's financial strength and how well a company's capital structure is managed. Now, I thought I'd just give you an example or I'll give you the definition of Google because it probably explains it better than I could. So, you know, that that's what a CFF is and it's currently up 133 percent which is very very strong and honestly right now the, every single factor apart from the cfo which is currently down for ctrm everything is looking good in my opinion about this company and you know you all can give me your opinion about this and you know i'm more than happy to see what you all think and yeah we could just have a bit of a forum a bit of a discussion down below and yeah without further ado let's go on to the graphical analysis now, within CTRM, we have recently seen a lot of bearish action come into this stock, right? However, I wanted to point this out because I think it is very, very relevant to the price action. Now, let me quickly enlarge this for you all. So as you can sort of see within this sort of graph right here, we are starting to see a cup and handle graph sort of develop. Now, like if you look at it closely, you're st you see like this cup that's been formed and now we're starting to see a bit of down and potentially, potentially, right, when the market comes online again in three days time, we could potentially see CTRM go really up quite quickly. Like, I'm, I'm not sure what you all think of this, but in my opinion, this is literally, like this looks exactly what a, a cup like sort of um what's it called like a, a cup and handle diagram looks like right and you know we saw something a little bit similar here but not really like this is almost like a spin image of what it should look like so with that being said that is my analysis of ctrm and we'll also do a quick as well like sort of graph as well in case the cup and handle doesn't come so you sort of see we we have a few levels of uh, resistance at the top here um very strangely enough though you see how they keep they come out of here we're seeing some weird action actually in ctrm like you don't really see this that often that these these anomalies outside of the the resistance zone really like right, if i put that up there sort of that there right you sort of see the it, you can you can see where i'm going with this right you can see like this triangle sort of forming but you know, it's it's very strange to have like so many, so many like sort of candlesticks outside of these resistance points, but you know that that could just be so strange to the stock. So right now, as you see, we're, we're sort of seeing a fair bit of bearish action. There's three levels of support here, uh, going down, 
And what we're going to see is we're going to see it reach an end point. Now, depending on where this cup and handle thing comes off, this is more likely what we're going to see. So we're going to see it go down a bit more, I reckon. I reckon it's going to keep going down slightly. And then it's going to meet this end point. Now, this, this end point is going to be probably around, well, whenever the market opens again, right? And it'll probably like finish at that end point and it'll be very interesting to see the the price action of where ctrm goes because we've seen so much bearish action from the 0.81 that I, I can almost see it going back up to that position because their financial reports were pretty good from what i could see and you know i i think the amount of investment in the stock there's a lot of volume you see here the the volume ratio right now is a lot a lot of people are pumping into this stock so you know always do your own due diligence always do your own analysis but this is my analysis and i'm entitled to this and with that being said i hope you have all enjoyed this video if you haven't remember to hit that like button and subscribe to you and thank you all so so much for the support on this channel and for hit for helping us hit 1000 subscribers trading fleet i'm out take care everyone <laughs>